This is Express Training Bites. I am Brandon Petrich. Our guest today is none other than the VP of Sales at Logomark, Lori Bolton. Lori, how are you doing? I am so good, Brandon. Thank you so much for having me. What a treat to be with you today. Thank you. Thank you. Absolutely. And so today you're going to kind of be giving us some training on wellness and ways to incorporate it into your day. Is that right? That is absolutely right. And I'm sure you're wondering like, where the heck is that coming from? <laughs> well, Lori, I'm going to go ahead and have you take it away. Awesome. Thanks, Brandon. Hello, everyone. Um, again, super excited to be on here with Brandon. So my journey started in the health and wellness many, many years ago. 25 years ago, I was trying to have a baby and spent a good five, six years going through in vitro, seven miscarriages, ultimately adopted my son who is now 19, adopted him at birth, he's now 19. And I remember going through this painful process of in vitro and, and not having a successful pregnancy. And there was nobody there to talk to. Um, if you wanted therapy, you had to schedule out. There was nobody there for that immediate need. And I, it's always been in the back of my mind that I wanted to give back and really be that person that could help, could help women through this process. So at the beginning of the year, as my son started college, of course, can't have just a single moment to myself. I had been thinking, how can I, how can I make this a possible, you know, a po possible come true? So I enrolled in school. The school is out of New York, and I graduated this month. Um, I am a holistic health and wellness coach. Uh, don't. Don't worry if Trevor's listening to this. I didn't give up my executive gig. I see clients um, on the weekends. But what this does, it allows me to work with women, men, but primarily my focus is with women and really having them um, someone to listen and, and, and care. It's amazing. Um, when I went back to school, I had no idea that COVID was going to present itself. So as I am going through my coursework um, and my modules, I'm finding that now more than ever, people want someone to talk to and they really just wanna be heard. Um, and again, COVID puts a completely different, different spin on this. So a couple of things I'm gonna share with you. We've got primary food and secondary food. Primary food, in my opinion, is the most important. That's your career, your home environment, your physical activity, joy. There's 12 aspects all different components to primary food. Then you've got secondary, um, secondary food, and that's what we consume, what we eat on a daily basis. But if you think about it, if your primary food is not in line, you know, I don't expect all 12 components to be in line, but if, you've, if you're really out of line in your primary food, your secondary food's also gonna be out of line. So when I work with clients, I, we really focus on primary food because it'll all work together if primary food's in line. So I ask, the question I ask you is career, obviously it's been an incredible, incredible eight months, tumultuous eight months. We know many people that have lost their jobs and many people that are struggling to get up and go to work every day um, because of our situation. We're, as a salesperson myself, I know it's been hard on me not being on a plane every week. Um, that's something I thoroughly enjoy and when you're a salesperson, you want to be out in front. So to have me at the home, not being able to have face-to-face -face interaction is hard. So there's your career aspect. Is it in line? And are you, are you finding that balance of working at home and not, um, not being able to be in front of people? Then you've got your home environment. So the ones I picked on primary food, I'm, I picked because it's a reality for us. So our home environment, all of a sudden now we've got yourself, your partner, and kids all in one space at the same time. That's a change, that's a major change. And how are you adapting to that? Um, and you start adding these up and it starts getting like, whoa, how did we make it through those last eight months without killing each other? And then physical activity, gyms are closed. I know it depends on what state you live in, but 
um, gyms are closed and what are we doing to have time to ourselves? And everyone knows that when you get physical activity, your endorphins go and it helps your overall health and wellness. And what does that look like? If you were, if you needed that gym and that class structure, how are you getting it now in your life? What are you doing to make sure that you are taking care of your needs? And then joy, that's another one of the 12 in the primary food. What does joy look like for you right now? Has it been lost? Is it hard to find because you're worried about the family, homeschooling your children? And again, as you start piling all of these on, it becomes really, really overwhelming. And so I challenge you um, as we go through now through the end of the year, which historically is a stressful time for everyone. It's the holidays, it brings up emotion, it brings up um, stress that we typically don't have throughout the year. This year is completely different. We have the added stress of COVID. And are we gonna be able to get together with our families during the holidays? Or is that maybe not a possibility because we have older parents or relatives and we don't wanna take the chance of exposing them to the illness. So it, it does add a completely different dynamic um, and stress at this time of year. So my challenge to you is just to incorporate three simple things in your day-to-day -day to get you through this time of year. Um, one of my favorite that I am religious about even when I do travel is starting your morning with eight ounces of lukewarm water with some lemon. We wake up dehydrated. Don't even think about it. You could be a great water drinker during the day, but the fact of the matter is if you wake up in the morning, you go straight to your coffee, coffee is dehydrating. I'm not saying not to have it. I have my coffee in the morning, but I always start my morning with some lukewarm water and a lemon. And it gives me that energy that I need to fuel my body to get me going in the morning and I can definitely feel a difference throughout the day and of course I drink my water um, in addition to the eight ounces so that's one number two physical activity I can't stress enough why we are at our homes not getting out our normal routine that we knew back in February January February um, is not there what are you doing for your physical activity doesn't need to be an hour, doesn't even need to be 30 minutes. Are you getting up off of your chair and getting outside and getting some fresh air? Again, I challenge you to do that. It's so incredibly important. I have my weekly call with my team and it's one of the questions I ask them, what are you doing for physical activity today? They work through their lunch and it, it, I tell them you have to set your alarm because you, I, I hear it all the time. I don't have time or I just get stuck at my desk. Set your alarm, get out three times a day, go walk around the block. And I know some of you are thinking, I know, I know I should be doing this, but you have to execute it. You have to actually take the time and say, you know what I am, I'm gonna take 30 minutes during my lunch break and I'm gonna go outside, get some fresh air, which is incredible for your mind. Uh, really, the fresh air does wonders and move your body. It's so important. You'll feel better. You'll come back for the second half of your day and just feel so, um, so inspired and, and energetic. And then I want you to look at your sugar intake. This is um, just because we're in the holidays is why I'm having you look at your sugar intake. So I can tell you here, my mom's been fixing tons of cookies and baked goods and I stare at them. And yes, it's one of my guilty pleasures to eat her home baked goods, but keep an eye on it as you go through now through the end of the year. If you can limit your sugar intake, you will feel better. You won't be so sluggish. Um, and you, you, you won't feel like you need to take that afternoon, that afternoon nap. And when you look at all three, the water in the morning, the physical activity, your sugar intake, what it does is it really circles back to self-care. And so again, my challenge to you is what are you doing for you? We are all, I don't care if you're male, male female, what role you play in the household. We all worry about everybody else. What are you doing for you? 
So again, my challenge is gonna be the three things, your water intake, your physical activity, your sugar intake, which ultimately results in your um, self-care. And when I see my clients, it is time and time again, uh, when I listen to their story and their journey, they're so worried about everybody else that they haven't taken the time to pause and do some self-care. And that is really what's going to get us through not only this challenging time with COVID, but it's going to get us through the holidays. It's going to set us up for when January comes and we're going to reset, put COVID behind us, hopefully. And we are a better partner. We're a better mom. We are a better dad, uh, brother, sister, family member when we're taking care of our needs. And um, it, it's pretty powerful. So hopefully challenge accepted. Um, Brandon, I want to know if you're going to start implementing your eight ounces of water every, every morning. So, so I, I felt personally attacked. No, I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> when you were like, you wake up dehydrated. So the first thing you shouldn't be shoving coffee down. And I'm like, but uh, how do I survive without it? <laughs> so uh, no, that's fantastic. And that, that's something that, you know, you don't think about too. I mean, um, you, you, we, right, you haven't had water if you sleep for eight hours or five hours like me. Yeah. Uh, you haven't had water for that long. So your body is missing yeah. that, right? And so the first thing you need to give it is that, that lemon and water. So that's very, that's a challenge accepted. I'm going to have to start Love doing it. it. <laughs> You'll notice a difference. And again, I'm not telling anybody to stop your coffee. I drink my coffee in the morning. Just get that water in first because it just sets your whole digestive system up for success for the day. And you'll feel it. You'll, my clients feel it. Um, they, it's such a small, small thing, but it makes such a huge difference. Mm -hmm. I love that. And I, I loved your, your get up and get out. That's one of my biggest, that was one of my biggest fears. I mean, I worked from home before the whole pandemic thing. And so being able to work from home has always been something that I had to mentally get strong enough to do it too. I wasn't always good at working at home. Uh, you know, the structure of working in an office versus, like you said, being able to roll out of your bed and straight to the couch and go right to work uh, is great, but it's also super bad for you mentally and physically. So yeah, I love that whole get up and get out too. How, like, what do you think? I know that like the NFL does the thing for the kids where it's like the play 60 or play 90. It's like, get out just a half hour, a couple, three times a day. Yeah. I mean, you don't even need to do, you know, no, you know, an hour and a half is that's like, so if you did that, that would be amazing. I would actually be a little jealous if you got an hour and a half in. Um, but I usually start my morning and mind you, it's cold here. It's about 25, 24, but I'll start and I'll do, and I don't expect this from everybody. I'm just telling you what my schedule looks like. So I will start with my water and then I'll do a three mile walk in the morning, but I will make sure that at the noon hour ish, I write it in my, in my calendar every day. Like I, it's an appointment for me. I am not scheduling anything during that time frame, and I get outside and it's not like my morning exercise, but I'm stretching my body out because now I've been behind my desk and computer for at least four or five hours. <laughs> it's right. Right. So that's not good. It's not good for the mind, the body, our soul. It's not good. You have to get up and, to, to inhale the, the air outside, I can't, you can't buy that. Yeah. Yeah. You've got to get out and just, even if it's, you're out watering plants or, um, I, I discourage you from being on the phone. I didn't think this is time where you need to be with yourself, um, without sounding too hippie-ish, but I just like take time for you and, um, so you could even do with my team, I have them do 10 minute breaks. They don't have to, right? It's, they're not hourly employees or salespeople, mm -hmm. but just take time, schedule it in. Say, you know what? I'm taking a pause here. I'm going to go out for 15 minutes and just get outside, get some fresh air, maybe do some squats, um, some stretches. Yeah. And when they actually do, they thank me for it. They're like, gosh, I didn't realize. And again, most of you, most of the listeners know this. They're like, yeah, that makes sense. Yep. But it's actually executing it. So. Well, and it's simple enough, right? So the yeah. hardest part about it is it sounds so simple. You're like, eh, is that really going to help? But yeah. 
it's such a simple act that has massive benefits on the backside. And then obviously your last one with the whole sugar intake, that's, I mean, that's pretty self-explanatory. Our yeah. moms have been yelling at that since we were kids. <laughs> You're going to ruin your dinner if you eat all that candy. So uh. <laughs> exactly. That's an obvious, but again, like just a little friendly reminder from Lori, watch your sugar intake. Don't have those afternoon crashes. And then again, Brandon, like the self-care, we more now than ever, I think in our history, like this is self-care is critical. It's critical. I can't tell you how many clients I talk to. And again, it sounds like it's basic, but they're so worried about everything else around. And like they haven't having fixed. There's just so many things and they forget about them. Yep. We forget about us and like, what, what, what do we need to do to feel, to fuel us? Right. <laughs> I love it. I mean, I've always lived by that motto of, uh, that you can't love anybody else until you love yourself. And so the same with, you know, all these little tiny wellness things, you know, you can't tell somebody else to do something if you're not doing it as well. And so just get out there and do it. Take that challenge. Lori's put it out there for us, guys. Let's go out there. I put it out there. I challenge all of you just and even if you can only incorporate two, um, I would say your water and your physical, act physical activity. Um, is so, so, so important. Yeah. And then you'll notice a difference, I promise. It's awesome. That is awesome. Thank you so much for those tips today. Uh, now, I'm going to pivot just a little bit and kind of shed some light on you uh, because you are dropping a new piece of content that is going to be regular on Promo Corner's uh, Facebook page under Promo Journal. It's going to be just about everywhere. Uh, and it's with a really good friend of yours, Amelia Model. So, can you tell us a little bit about what you guys are going to be doing? Yes, that is another exciting piece. So Amelia and I have partnered. We, she asked me to be your co-host and so flattering and honored. And so our show is called The Rundown. And it's awesome. It's not really even talking about this industry. It's just talking about like us and um, our guilty pleasures and the unsung heroes of the industry. Um, our favorite places to travel and within those areas of travel, like our favorite um, hot spots, if you will. And then she gets to pick on me at the very end <laughs> on acronyms. <laughs> and I'm laughing because I feel so old. Like these, all these acronyms that these kids, my son will text. I'm like, what on earth does this mean? And some of them can be like 10 digits long. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and I have no clue, no clue. And what I thought SOS meant help. No, it means something <laughs> completely different. I think it means at least today or this week, it means that it's someone's over your shoulder. Like oh, yeah. if you're texting, like someone's behind you. Yeah. Well, yeah like don't, don't text somebody? anything crazy to me right now. Cause I got somebody reading my text behind me. Who yeah. does that? Who does well, that? <laughs> it's it's kind of like NSFW. You send that one too when you're about to send something that don't open this at work because it's not safe for work. See, I don't know this, Brandon. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know these. I'm going to have to get, you know, like how the, the sports people have their little, like the quarterbacks have their little playlist. Oh. I'm going to have to have mine as I text like, oh, Brandon's. <laughs> That is classic. Oh, uh, that is, do I see a new product for logo mark coming down the pipe? That's uh, oh. Very good. That's good stuff. That is awesome. Well, so yes, I, am, I think it premieres tomorrow. If I'm, I was mistaken. just going to say, I am definitely going to be watching it. It is dropping tomorrow. Uh, it is going to be a morning show. It's going to be set in both podcast form and in vlog form. So you're going to be able to watch it and laugh along with them. We've got some cool graphics on the screen, but if you're one of those people that gets a bunch of stuff done in the morning with the headphones in, you can also listen to it on podcast form up on Promo Corner SoundCloud page. So uh, I am looking forward to it. Congratulations for getting that put together. Uh, it should be a fun time. <laughs> it's hilarious. I'm laughing just because I'm this whole text, you know, the acronyms, I was just thinking of some of, yeah, it's, it's funny. It's funny. And <laughs> Amelia and I work really well, we play really well off each other. So I'm excited just to bring some, some light and joy to everybody. Uh, it's going to be great. I'm looking forward to it. So I'm going to leave you with a TTYL. Talk to you <laughs> later. 
<laughs> and <Good>. uh, <laughs> and thank you again, Lori, so much for being on this Express Training Bites today. Thank you, Brandon. Thanks for having me. And happy Thanksgiving to everyone. Be well. That's awesome. All right, guys, we will see you next Thursday.